You've stopped at a red light thousands of times. But what if I told you that red almost wasn't the stop color, and white, the color of purity, caused a disaster so bad it changed history? The reason will blow your mind. And no, it didn't start with cars. Stick around. Because the real story behind traffic lights is way more wild than you think. Now, before highways carved through cities and engines purred beneath hoods, the world moved to the rhythm of steel and steam. Trains, colossal iron beasts, snaking through countryside and city, breathing smoke and bellowing their presence across the land. They were more than machines. They were lifelines, hauling dreams, people, and progress from one place to another on rails that hummed with destiny. Now, like any powerful system, trains needed rules, especially for signaling, when to stop, when to slow, and when to move. Back then, those signals didn't flash with electronics. They were just colored lamps glowing through glass lenses, simple, manual, and dangerously easy to misread. Red meant danger, an obvious choice. Green, that used to mean caution and go. Believe it or not, it was white. But one broken lens changed all that. The sun had not yet risen on that bitter morning on the 22nd of May, 1915, but the iron arteries of Scotland were already pulsing with life. Trains rumbled like giants in their slumber, their breath hanging in the frost. Engineers, wrapped in soot-stained coats and long hours, trusted the quiet guardians that guided them, the signal lamps. Green for caution, red for danger, white, a piercing white, for go. But that day, white betrayed them. In the distance, a lonely signal lamp flickered against the black sky, its red lens, which should have signaled a stop, cracked from the cold or time or sheer neglect. The colored glass fell to the gravel below with a sound no one heard, a whisper of doom. Behind it, unfiltered and blinding, the white flame burned like truth. The engineer saw it, white, clear as day, the go-ahead. The path was safe. He pushed forward. Another train, already on the tracks ahead, barreled silently through the fog, unaware, unseen, and unsaved. Two colossi moving toward each other with steel in their bones and fire in their chests. The collision came like thunder wrapped in screams. The rails trembled, carriages twisted like paper. Lives were unmade in an instant. The countryside, still and sleeping moments before, was ripped open by metal, smoke, and the horror of mistaken trust. And all because white, the color of purity and peace, had been mistaken for truth when it was an error, a ghost of what should have been red. They found the red lens later, half buried in the dirt, as if it too had tried to flee the guilt, claiming a total of 226 lives with 246 people left with sustained injuries. This was marked as the worst rail disaster in the history of Scotland. That tragedy did what reason hadn't, it changed the way the world moved. White, the symbol for purity, was banished from the railway signals. Green took its place as go, calm, unmistakable, and safe. Red remained a guardian of caution, stop. And yellow stepped in to warn us, like a breath between choices to breathe as we decelerate or gear up and hit the accelerator, like our lives depended on it. And here's the wild part. These colors weren't just picked at random. They work because your eyes are wired to obey them. Red, it's not just dramatic, it's science. It has the longest wavelength, which means it travels the farthest, cutting through fog, rain, even your distracted thoughts. It demands your attention. It practically yells, stop. Green, on the other hand, it's calm, friendly, reassuring, your brain sees it and relaxes. It's safe, go ahead. And yellow, that one's sneaky. It sits right between red and green, 
both in color and in urgency. Your eyes catch it the fastest. That's why it's the hurry up before it's too late color. It's not just a traffic system, it's psychology on a pole. As cars took over the roads in the 1920s, the US and UK stepped in to standardize road safety to bring order to the chaos, standardizing red for stop, yellow for slow, and green for go. But the rest of the world? Well, it took its time catching up since cars and trains weren't as popular in those parts as they were in Europe and the Americas. Asia, Africa, and other regions eventually adopted the trio, but with a few local flavors. In some places, yellow just blinks, endlessly. A mystery, a warning, a vibe. In others, yellow means one thing. Hit the gas or forever hold your peace. It's the same color code, sure, but depending on where you are, the interpretation, totally a different story. So next time you stop at a light, remember, those three little dots aren't just rules. They're a strange mix of tragedy, science, and human psychology. A silent tribute, a glowing reminder of the day. White light, lied, Oof. all to make the world move and stop safely. You've been stopping at red your whole life, but how many rules do you follow every day without ever asking why? Drop a comment and tell us. What's one everyday thing you want to know the history of? This is Just Got Smarter, where the past makes the present make sense. Hit that subscribe button and let's keep uncovering the hidden stories behind the things you see every day, but we'll never see the same way again. And hey, if you learned something today, smash that like button because you just got smarter.